Hi everyone. Come on, load up. There we go. Yay. Hello, hello, hello. So today we're actually going to do something really fun. We're going to make a heart and two wreaths in one. So we're actually going to make a heart with this cute sign, Love Bug, from Pam. And we're going to attach it to another frame. So we're going to be making two and putting them together. So it's going to be like a 3D heart. Let's give everyone a couple minutes to log on. It's going to be a lot of fun. So as you guys know, I made a heart uh, about a month ago. Same concept, except we're going to be doing it in black and red. We're going to make this onto this. So two reefs in one today. Let's give everyone a few minutes to log on. Hello, hello, hello. Happy Tuesday. We've got five people so far. Hi, everybody. There you go. Hi, honey. So we're, I'm going to give everyone a couple minutes. We'll go into our prayers, and then we'll start cutting the mesh for the first part. Hi, Cindy. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, Donna. So this is going to be a lot of fun. We have a heart shape frame from Dollar Tree. I have the love bug sign from Pam. And then we have the 14 inch from Dollar Tree. And we're going to do two wreaths in one. All right. So it's going to be a 3D heart on top of a 14 inch reframe. So this is going to be a lot of fun and very neat. We're going to have a lot of fun with this. Hello. Hi everybody. Hi Judy. Hi everyone. Alright, let's say our prayers real quick and then we're going to get started on this. It's going to be a lot of fun today. Like I said, we're going to do two reefs in one. Alright, so we're going to do the heart. And we're going to do a 14 inch. And that's going to be a 3D Valentine's Day heart. And actually you could use this all year because this does not say Happy Valentine's Day. It says Love Bug. And that is something I call my, <laughs> I call my uh, granddaughters my love bugs. So, and we had a fur baby that was a Rhodesian Ridgeback that we rescued um, for Katrina. And he had heartworms. He lived for about 10 years after we got him treated. But we had found him on the side of the road. <clears throat> and um, it took a while before we found the owners. And then they couldn't take care of him. So we took him in and went. And I guess he must have been on the streets about 3-4 weeks. But he ended up with heartworms. And um, he had heartworm treatment. And we called him Love Bug. We called him Bugs for short. And he... So, love bug can be all year long. And if you like the ladybugs, you're really going to like this. So, we have the heart, the sign, and the 14 inch all in one today. So, we're going to have a lot of fun. Let's bow our heads and pray. I love you all so much. Um, let's pray, everyone. As you all know, the virus is um, hit the U.S. We have five states that it's in. Uh, just we're just going to pray that God keeps all China and everybody, you know, for God to give them strength and comfort for all that's sick. Let's pray for a vaccination so people can get well. And let's pray for our servicemen and women and for all of you that um, financial struggles you may have, surgeries coming up. So we're going to do a general prayer for the needs of all. Let's bow our heads and pray. Father God, I just want to thank you, Father God, for opening up this time where I can be with my brothers and sisters, where we can love each other, where we can pray out loud, where we can have fun and do crafts. Father God, I ask that you touch each and every single person across the nation in all countries and the U.S. that is sick with this virus. I pray that you give them strength and comfort. I pray for a cure to be made soon, soon, Father, 
put it into our doctor's head. I know that all things are possible, and I know that you have control, Father. I pray for them to get better, comfort, strength, healing. Father God, I pray for all of our servicemen and service women, that you give them strength, wisdom, that you wrap your armor of protection over all our men and women. Give them strength, wisdom, comfort. I pray for all of their families, mothers, fathers, children, grandchildren, grandparents, cousins, brothers, sisters, friends that are worried about our men and women, their loved ones. Give them comfort and strength, Father, to get through this and bring our men and women home safely. Father God, I pray for all of our first responders, our paramedics, our firemen, our nurses, our doctors. I pray that you give them strength and comfort and wisdom as they're taking care of all of us. Be with our men and women in blue. Be with our firemen. Be with our paramedics. Be with our doctors, our nurses. Be with all, Father. Father God, I pray for your divine healing on all those that are sick. I pray, Father, that you touch each and every one of my brothers and sisters from the top of their heads to the tip of their toes. Anoint their bodies. I pray for healing, comfort, strength, financial blessings. I pray, Father, for those that are fighting for disability, that disability is approved. I pray for those that are looking for an affordable place to live. I pray that you open those doors for them. I pray for those that are looking for a job, that you open the door for a new job. I pray for answers they seek. So many have questions and they need answers, direction in their life. I pray for happiness and love, understanding. I pray for those that are sad, that you just fill them with the Holy Spirit. Pour your love on them, Father. Give them joy and happiness. For those who are worried, comfort them. Father God, I pray for all those that are going through surgery, that you work through the surgeon's hands, that it is a successful surgery. Pain relief, comfort, strength, healing. I pray for all their families. We thank you, Father God, for all that you are going to do and all that you have already done. We give you the praise. We give you the glory, Father God. We give you the honor and we love you. Thank you, Father, for sending your Son, Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3:16. We believe in you, Jesus, the Son of God. We believe in you and we love you. And we thank you for being our Savior. And we know there is power in your name, Jesus. And I claim the name of Jesus over all my brothers and sisters, over all we are praying for and all that will watch. We believe in you and we love you. And we thank you for all you have done for us. Thank you, Father God. We love you. Thank you for your answers, your healing, your touch. Surround all of my brothers and sisters with your armor of protection. Keep them safe and all of their lives and all their needs. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We love you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. We love you so much. Amen. Okay, we are going to get started. This is going to be a lot of fun, everyone. I'm going to turn this down. All right. So, we're going to cut this up. And I have, this is from Personalize It by Pam. See how cute this is? It says Love Bug, and it's black and red and white with little ladybugs all over it. And in here, there kind of like sunflowers but they're um i mean daisies there's another name for them really cute i have some decor i have some ribbon we have a lot to do this is going to be a lot of fun 
personalize it by Pam for the sign. We're going to cut our mesh and we're going to do the heart part of it first, okay? So today what I'm cutting up for the heart part of our project is we have our black and red poly burlap check mesh and you can get that from Craft Outlet, all right? And then underneath this, I have standard black mesh, all right? We're going to cut just four pieces. I think I only need three, but I'm going to cut four of our 20 inch. All right. So we got so 10 and a half or 10 by 20. So we have black standard and red and black. Put that over here. We're going to cut two more and then we're going to cut some 10 inch. And like I said, we're actually doing two reefs in one today. So you can make the two together or you can make two separate reefs. All right. This is four. We're going to cut our 10 inch now. Same mesh just in 10 inches. 10, 10 and a half, either or. I'm actually going to pull this up to 20 and cut it that way. Now this does not have to be perfect because that's what makes it so pretty. As you can see, all the colors. I decide I need more, I'll cut more, but I think we're going to be good with just this, just for the heart. Put that there. Alright, so with this heart, I'm actually going to use pipe cleaners. just for the heart. And I'm going to use half four, but I have a, a feeling I'm going to need more than that. So we're going to use the Christmas tinsel ones, the red tinsel. I'm going to take one of my rocks. So this is your black standard 21 inch mesh that I cut underneath. And then I'm using the 10 inch red and black poly burlap that I cut in 20 inches. All right. Just take your fingers, thumbs, this fingers straight up. As you go up, your thumbs go up to make my flower. This is Carmen's flower ruffle. We're going to take this. I'm actually going to take it right here. At this crossbar. Take this one. Mm, I think I want to go a little bit lower though. Yeah, let's go a little bit lower. Yeah. 
take this one and go ahead and place it right here. Right. So I do want to get here before I add any more of the 21 inch. You want to get your V here, and you want to get the sides. <clears throat> this, bend it up, go around the two right here, alright, the two crossbars at the very bottom, take it around, Define this on each side. Push this up. Take it. Crossbars are right here. You're going to go into the second. defining our heart. That's all you're doing. Alright. I do take a little heat on this. You'll see. To this side. 10 inch. use black zip ties if you want. There's a whole reason why we're doing it with the red. Not a red zip ties. So I'm using the pipe cleaners. But these we could use as we're adding to it. Alright. Alright, so here's our defining heart. This you want to shape. We're going to put one in the center. We're going to start bubbling it over now. Get this first. <clears throat> then I'm going to add some heat to define it, and we're going to add our sign. All right? And I have ribbon too. 
that's why we're not cutting these. There you go. a little bit of heat to shape my heart a little more to the way I want it. And that's also going to give it more of a point. We're going to put our sign on. I think I want to add going to go in here. <clears throat> and take it. Our points down here. Just leave a small piece. it where we're going to define our heart. I have some extra pieces so I can add to it too. But this is just shaping it right now. I'm going to actually take this one the 
this is all going, the sign's going on this, and then this is going into another reef. Okay? So I'm leaving the pipe cleaners where they are for reasons. I'm going to pull this down to a point. Right there. Hold the point. melts it, especially when you're using standard mesh. You want to make sure that you get this nice and shaped. Standard tends to fray easier. This will all be fixed once I get it all where I want it. this, all I'm going to do with this is I'm actually going to tie this on. Let me put this over here. So for this part of the reef, we're just going to tie this on and then we're going to leave it while we work on our second part. That's good because this is going on that. This will all be defined on our second reef. All right. So if you wanted to make it more of a heart, you most certainly can. This is going right there. Right here. So you're going to take this. I'm going to take a hole right here. One. Down at the bottom. Two. And take our hole punchers. It's a hole puncher you can get from Amazon. I have a link for that. Very, very, very tiny, tiny hole. It's all I used for as you guys know, two years was the hole puncher. I just started using the cable tie mallets. There we go. So I like it to go one at the top, one at the bottom. <coughs> now, if this was a fuller reef, with a round, I would actually do four. All right? Because it can tilt. What I mean, it can go back and forth. This is just going to be tied in right now. I'm going to take this. it under. Yep. You 
as you can. You can take your pipe cleaner that's right there and twist it over the wire. This over. This should be tweeted also. Again, just push it through. This one's a little bit thicker. any of this. And I have decorations too. Down. Tie. the way it is because you gotta I'm gonna shape it some more and move this over and take our 14 inch <coughs> take and cut up some red, regular plain red of our poly burlap. Now all I really want is I'm going to do colors. You don't have to just get the cream and red or black and red. You can get plain red, plain yellow, plain blue, plain green. I'm actually going to cut to rock. Twelve. So 
setting. This is very thick. And I have, I believe, six. One, two, three, four. Six. Yep. Better have six. This is my leftover. Yep, six. Six wide, all in 20 inches. Now we're going to actually use our zip ties for this one. We're going to take our red first.
thumbs, fingers out, thumbs go up. This is Carmen's flower petal. Thumbs go up to create the flower. Crossbar. The baby is sick and his surgeries only have next week so please keep him in your prayers um, we have a doctor's appointment tomorrow so we'll see what's going on um, but he's got <clears throat> sinus strippage and it gave him an upset tummy but there's this horrible it's like a seal bark cough he has it's horrible so um, and they, you know, when your sinuses drip, you can get a really bad upset tummy from it. So, uh, we shall see tomorrow more because he cannot, he has to be completely well for his surgery. Um, so they're going to wire his jaw shut. So that's what we're worried about. Break the jawbone, cut into the sinuses, extract the tooth out of the jaw and the sinuses, repair the sinuses, repair the jaw. And um, so we're thinking they're going to, they told us he would be in there in three days. So my son to take off at least a week from work is what the doctor said. So we shall see. My little guy's. He was doing so good, but like they said, he's going to constantly get the sinus infection because of where the tooth is at. And so, I'm just, we'll see tomorrow what they say, but he's all set for surgery. We'll just got to make sure he's okay to have it. Other than that... So this is 10 by 20. It's using my flower petal. Right? Remember the white's on the crossbar. The red is just right on bar one. And what I'm doing is I'm scrunching it over. Scrunch. Get any little pieces, go ahead and cut them. You shouldn't get too much. Take your white, and you could use any white. Everything's cut in 20 inches. Thumbs, fingers out, thumbs go up. crossbar around the flower beautiful so anyways he's um he's been to school and because he's been sick and we have him on you know cough medicine and all that but it's at that point where it's we just need to make sure and they want to make sure it's not a little surgery he's getting. So here we go. Here's another one. Thumbs down. Thumbs go up as you're guiding your mesh in. So my thumbs go up. Pulls it together. It's my flower petal. And it is Carmen's flower petal. first row.
push the red over. I like the red over the white. together. Thumbs go up. Bar one. So every red on your first bar is just on your one per section. Alright? Just right there in the center. The white I put on the crossbar crossbars, this bar right here in between each section. Take the white. <clears throat> Crossbar. So we have this so far. Now remember, we have a heart that's going on this, right? So I'm only going to do one more bar. That's it. So I'm going to go to bar. We're going to go to bar. Let's see where this goes again. Because you could actually do it like this, but I like one more right here. It's actually pretty like this. Hold on, let me check. I'm going to go right on top there. Alright, we're going to take... We may not even need this. Let's see. You can do it with just one layer on there and the heart. Or I might get a little bit thicker, even though I'm going to be putting ribbon. Yeah. I like it like this, so it's me. I'm real picky. So I'm actually going to pull this ruffle up on the light. <clears throat> Alright. I'm going to go right here. To the crossbar right here that is two and three no It's like plastic. It's not like regular fray. It's most of you know. I've been working with it since last year. And um, <clears throat> actually since last July.
pieces of red, six pieces of white. This is what I used on this. Take this crossbar. Around my flower petal. Both of your white. So it's the second section. It's the crossbar above your second section. So it's two and a half. different different and neat it will all come together we'll shape our heart when we place it on here I have decor and I have ribbon I also have flowers so depending on how it looks I'm either going to layer it with ribbon or I'm just going to make a really pretty bow depending on how I want to do it. There you go. Craft outlet for your plain red poly burlap check. They have it in plain colors. Alrighty. Okay, so when you add your heart here, we have our heart. I'm putting right in the center of this. We're going to tuck this kind of under and define it. Alright. So this is defined. Now, in two choices, it can go straight up like this, or push it up. ruffles prettier. You'll see. The ruffles are beautiful when you shape them the right way. choice. I'm going to bend this down. Remember that you have bar three right here. And I'll push it over so you can see in just a second. One side. Take the pipe cleaner. That we put on the heart when we first did the first one. And you're pulling it down. This 
one. Take this, make here. starting to shape now so I said don't worry <laughs> don't worry it looks weird at first till you start shaping it on the other frame and take this and pull it this is the tricky part take it to the corner here and define your heart. Now, if you want to put white, you can. You can do all white and then put the black and white heart on the all white. But, I like the red. I really like the red. Alright. Alright, so let me show you the back because I want to tighten it up. Alright, so we made our heart on our heart frame, and then we attached it to our 14 inch. Alright, you have, you're defining a ladybug ribbon going around it. You don't have to use it, I like to use it though. Alright, and that, this will define more as we start to shape this and add to it. Flip this over. As you can see, I took it the heart onto my frame here. Alright. This is the heart. The third bar. One. There's another one, two. I'm gonna wrap it around. You need more security and you're afraid to put a little hot glue on it. It's not going to hurt it. And yes, you can hang it without. You hang it right here. You can put a little bow on it if you want, but it will hang. There we go. It's another part of the heart. Alright. Should be more towards. Right here though, but it's fine. There we go. Here's the bottom part of the heart with your pipe cleaner. Alright, here's your heart black and red, red and white. Now, let's see what I want to do. Every reef is different. I have to look at it, examine it, see what I want to do. Because I have to sell it. <laughs>
cut some ribbon. Yes, Carmen decided to cut ribbon. I did, I did, I did. Okay, these all came from Craft Outlet. So we got our hearts. I'm not putting the butterfly. This is going to go on our bow. However, we have several colors, all from Craft Outlet. We're going to add some ribbon. Now, I'm not going to put a lot. As you know me, I don't do a lot of but enough to give it that prettiness. I like this one. It's one of my favorites. Very thick ribbon though. I will tell you this one's a thick, thick ribbon. See? Black and white. Take this. More one to cut our ribbons with. Zero. Two. It's actually a pretty good three. Let's do twelve. And I don't really want a lot, all right, because we only have two bars we're working with right there. So I'm actually only, actually let's do 14. And I'm going to take this, we're going to do four, say always count it. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, five. There you go. Craft outlet for this ribbon your red and black check. Got it at Christmas time. Remember I told you we use it all year long. Never goes away. Plaid is a big thing. It's back and it's been back for a couple years. Thank you. 
what I'm thinking is, now that I'm looking at it, I like the white. Let's lay off the black a little bit. I need the white to pull this out some more. So I'm going to take this one, which is a very beautiful Victorian style ribbon. Comes in pink too. This is very thick. Just so you know, it is a thicker ribbon. inches. There's 12 inches. your ribbon. You could use one Valentine's Day ribbon and you could add some plain black and red. Remember what I told you before? The go-to ribbons you should always have in stock. White, black, gold, and silver. And red. I do always have some form of red. But those are your colors that you can mix with anything. Alright. So you can have one heart ribbon and then add your go-to ribbons with it. And Christmas, red Christmas ribbon, you can use. Plain red. Sure can. So I always have black. Always have black on hand. This is going to make that reef pop. Fourteen inches, twelve inches. So twelve of each color ribbon. Three ribbons. The tool that I used is from ProboTheHand.com. Regina Sellers 4-in-1 Tool. It's used to cut your ribbon, measure your ribbon, hold your mesh, make bows and a spool so a spool hold your mesh measure your ribbon 
It's actually more than four. Okay. It's amazing. It's my favorite. And she's such a sweet friend. I love Miss Regina. Regina's a sweetheart. There you go. Pretty, pretty, pretty. So this white is going to make the sign pop. That's why I didn't use the other ribbons I had. Because we want the sign to pop. Alright. We want the white to pull out. And I have decor as well. these on. Alright, so I'm actually going to not, I'm going to go in here. I'm not putting anything on bar one. We're actually going to go through this. I'm going to pinch it in the center. We're going to add all of this going all the way around. Let's see where I want to put it. 14 inches on bar one, two, three. I'm going to take my zip ties, bar three. should go right around it. Alright. Oops. That's why I use Fiskars when I add it inside my ring. Grab my cut those little plastic pieces off. bunches, one per section, one per the crossbar, bar three. up, don't be afraid. I'm lifting up the heart part. I can see where my crossbar is. Did one fall out? Must have fell out of one of them. There we go. Pinch. Take this one. Is that one on the cross? No. Nope. Up above your ruffle, around your crossbar, on three. Beautiful. 
ça. Ça, ça passe. That's where it came from. I'm like, where did that fall out from? Pinch. This one, I'm actually going to take it. Let's see, where did I put that one? Straight above it. Move it over this way. And take it actually off the heart frame itself for this one. Instead, taking it on the heart frame, second bar on the heart frame. Remember, the heart is attached to the sleeve. You can actually use that frame as you get closer to the heart. heart frame one more time. Unless I could, yep, because it's right there, right over bar three. Right here. I can feel it. There you go. sure did. I added. See that? I took that part. Easy fix. Whiskers, you cut your zip ties. Yeah, I'm gonna add. I 
to know me. All right, so this is bar three now, because I can actually see it. The heart's not on top of it, so I'm actually going on to the actual leaf frame now, the round one, bar three. It is a tight fit. It is, but it's going to be beautiful. Do not worry about seeing any zip ties, alright? all that ribbon. Oh, he's not coughing. The cough syrup must have helped. We gotta get him the spray to help it spill. And you have to make sure you go to the pharmacist. My son works at a pharmacy. I'm sure it's safe for kids. And she can't just give them anything. And it helps the, them from, you know, helps soothe the sore throat. So, right. right at the bottom here, I'm actually going to put a bow. So I'm going to take some of this ribbon. See if I want to add it anywhere. I think we're going to put one up, one more up here. so it's not a lot of ribbon just looks like it just looks like it but it's not I want to 
put my bow there. So, but I could put some ribbon there and there so you can see it with just ribbon. That way, if you don't want to put a bow, you don't have to. And put one here and here. That'll be all 12 inches. I want to put a bow at the bottom though. So I have this. I wonder where this came from. There you go. I said I think I cut one too many. Or one's not in there. There you go. Take it right here. Everything's on bar three, and if you can't find bar three, and you feel the heart, you attach it to the heart frame if it's on top of bar three. All right. That's also going to secure your heart some more besides just a little cable ties I put on there. as defined as you want, as small or as big as you want. Alrighty, now before I do the bow for down here, I'm going to put a bow right here. We're going to add a couple things. I have this cute, adorable love bug, ladybug, craft outlet. Isn't it cute? It's so cute. Going to cut it up. I'm actually going to put it's foam, which is perfect. Foam is perfect. Okay, let me grab I'm so glad it's foam. But make it the easiest on you. You can either take a T pin or a U pin. Or you can take your little and then take this right here. Try and pull it through. It may not work for me. I have to just glue some on and then tie it. So it's at a side angle. Alright. Side angles are a little bit harder to work with. But this is foam. Craft outlet. Don't need anything that big because you already have these to work with. Let it 
sit there for just a second. Now you can take the little love bugs that you can get from your um, Dollar Tree and put them on, but I kind of want to make this a little more realistic. All right. I also have some foaming to put on. Ladybugs. My flowers that match the sign. My wooden hearts. I'm going to take this. It's a little bit wet. That's okay. Take this here. I'm going to take it and we're going to tie this. And it's going to be a little bit wet. So be careful. Here, I'm telling you to be careful. And I'm the one doing it. Here we go. Twist it in. Twist it around. It's already there. I'm just going to glue it right on. There we go. Perfect. There's one. I have... These are the little flowers that are in here. get flowers in it. There's actually flowers. That, these are, they're in the daisy family, but they, there's a different word for these. They're the same ones that's in the picture. So, I can't pronounce it. I really can't. There you go. I got purple. This is kind of like a creamy color. Really pretty. This one's off-white. This one's over here. And if I want to add more, I will. I think I'm going to take some more of the pink and white and add it on. Just a couple. don't need them um, more than an inch and a half. Alright. Put this into my glue pot. Let me cut my little. So these little ties are actually going to help glue in your floral. Alright. It gives it something to stick to. Oh, you saw me get rid of it. I used it to stick on, and then I cut off the excess. This one I wrapped with it. Put, I want to put a bow, but I can still put a bow right here. flowers from any craft store, um, Amazon. Right now everybody's being careful with ordering from overseas, so everyone's doing the local store uh, because of the virus going around. Um, we're actually being careful with mail now too, so just saying. Um, Just uh, wherever you order it. Right now, you want to try to get everything in stores. Or if it's locally at your local Amazon. 
in stock. <clears throat> and that's really pretty. I like that there too. There we go. I'm going to put another one right here. These are craft outlet as well. You can actually just cut your wire down to get into your glue pot. You just stick it in there. I really like these. They're so cute. Cute. So cute. Save these two. I am going to add ladybugs going around it. I have wooden ladybugs too, so one. These are craft outlet as well. Put this up. Let's use the wire on it. So it sticks right in there. You just put a little glue. It goes right in. Ladybugs all over it. Got to decorate it to match your sign. There is a Native American saying about ladybugs. I need to go pull that up. I said it a couple of years ago um, when I made a ladybug. New beginnings, new life. It's a beautiful, beautiful saying. And actually, my husband. Um, he has chuck a duck He's native, he's part Native American that comes from Mississippi, Louisiana. Most people don't know that. <laughs> sure is. So he's always looking things up and saying, isn't this beautiful? I'm like, oh, just touches my heart. Gonna take here's the little 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 ones. I'm gonna hold on to these for just a second. Let's see. Uh, it looks like we don't need a bow. Honestly, if we do a bow, it's gonna be a very small one at the bottom. So let me see what we're doing with this first. There we go. This is all craft outlet. 
take it and we can go oh no because I like it like this I do like this one. I think I'm going to put it right, shape this up a little bit right here. I'm actually going to take this, this is floral wire. I'm going to take this right here. it more defined. Yay! Take it and just bend it around underneath and I'll show you in just a second. Let me get it done first. Bend it. Of this, I'm going to actually save this because I could use it. I like it. To top it off, and this is top. This is beautiful. We're going to put this to the side. I'm going to make a small bow, and I may add some spray into the bow. And it's only going to go right here at the bottom. Okay? And that's real easy nothing big. I don't want anything big because I don't want to take away from the beauty that's already here. But just right right here, like at the end of our heart, just to top it off. So I am going to take ladybug ribbon. We're going to take our white heart ribbon. I am going to take black and white I don't know if I'm going to do it all in one or two and a half I have this, this will top it off so we're going to blend in some of what we used inside our wreath right. and we're going to add a bow at the very bottom Most of you all know, I um, because I make my reefs <laughs> with bows big, sometimes I don't use the spools on it because the bows are actually, if you use it and it's the big 50 yards, it can go and be a problem when you're trying to straighten it. All right, so if you're going to use it, go to the very back. I like to have more control over my ribbon for some reason. I have more control when I do it by hand. It's just me. I'm going to take this and I'm going to take my tail. About 22 inches. Beautiful. This 
he's going to tie everything in. I'm going to take my white. Mm, let's do the black. The red checkered first. And you can always do it just a tad longer if your tails end up being a little bit shorter when you go to tie them in, right? Don't have to. Every nothing should ever be perfect. Even <laughs> even though I want mine to be perfect, you can even trim it. So don't. Be hard on yourself. You can trim it. Everything can be trimmed. Alright. Just leave it a little bit longer. And then we got our beautiful ladybug ribbon. But tie it off. This is all from Craft Outlet. Alrighty, let's get started. There we go. Now if you want it to have a little bit more, you can always start this down or you can do it short. It's completely up to you. And so if you want to add a little more of the black and white that's inside your wreath, then yes. But it can also take away from everything that's down here already. So I'm going to just leave that three inches there. We're going to twist this going up. Fold this down. Five. And actually, we can do it a little bit bigger. Let's do it six and a half, uh, five and a half, almost six, five and a half. So, yeah. like five and a quarter. Right? Not quite. Five and a half. There you go. Twist. One. Twist. Down. Two. Twist. Depends on how you want your bow. Do you want it to be a round bow? Do you want it to be uh, round and show more of your legs? Do, or do you want more of the flower style bow? It's completely up to you what you want to do. Alright? Now this is really pretty. Remember that if you don't use all your ribbon, you have enough for other wreaths. So sometimes I don't. And I honestly, let's see. I want to do it like that. It is a larger bow, so you do know. Mm, yeah. Carmen changed her mind. I changed my mind. I do that. There we go. We're going to cut this right here. to take our next color which 
is going to be... Do I want the black? I want... Let's do the ladybug on top of this one. So we're going to do the hearts. Alright, so with this one I'm actually going to let my heart, this go a little bit shorter and leave a tail. Alright. I like to roll these, that's why I like to curl it. And go. Fold in half. It's not really folding in half, you're kind of just creasing it. Do not worry about that tail. We're going to go one inch shorter. Yeah, it's one inch shorter. I got four and a half. Measure it by the one on the bottom and then move it up. Twist up. Fold over, measure it, put the one at the bottom, twist up, twist up, fold over, always here, and then move it up. Alright, so with this, I think I'm going to actually do, remember this is fatter, and a half. This is only an inch and a half. And I think I want to actually do four on each side. Alright. Again, over. Over. Twist. I like the hearts. I love hearts. My favorite shape. I love red, my favorite color, because it represents Jesus, what he did for us, so I love red. I love heart, his internal love, Jesus, God's love, God's promise, yes, I associate everything with God, <laughs> anyways. Hearts are very beautiful. It's love. It's an expression of love. They're beautiful. There you go. Let's take our black and red. Again. A little bit shorter. This is wired. About an inch shorter. Maybe a little more than an inch. This one I'd say. That's at three. So it's three inches. Alright. Twist up. Fall down. Up. Over. This one I'm going to actually do three. Twist up. Remember, you always measure it with the one that's at the bottom, and then twist up. Okay? Twist this down right here. You can pull it down if you need it to stay. If your ribbon tends to loosen up, just pull it into the crease of the rods. There you go. Now let's 
take our ladybug. This is going to tie our reef together. Ladybugs. There we go. We'll do a shorter one. Twist up. This is going to be about two inches. You don't need a lot. Pull down. One. I can I can tell. I know a lot of you are like, she didn't even measure it. Yeah, it's two inches. I can tell by sight. When you get used to making them, you can tell by sight. Plus, I can see here where you guys can't. There we go. One, two. There we go. We're going to twist this up. Fold this right here, just crease it, over, twist, and I have enough of the ladybug ribbon for another ring. So, you don't have to use a lot, if, especially if you only have a little bit of one. I have two and a half inch ladybug ribbon too. I just, I like the one and a half for this one. For this ring. Push this up. Open up your tails. Zip tie underneath. Around. If it doesn't zipper, that means it's twisted. Alright. It has a zipper. You're going to hear it just like a zipper in your pants. There we go. That makes you happy. But yes! It works! All that work, I'm not going to lose my bow. There you go. Up. Okay, we're going to take this. Uh, we, we are going to use our floral wire to tie it on. All right, it's just going at the bottom of this ring. Really beautiful. You could they can even use it as a Valentine's Day wreath. You could use it all spring, all summer. So it just says love bug. So it's all year until your fall. All right, ladybugs are. Spring and summer, and even fall, because I use ladybugs in the fall too. But you could use this all year. So you just put your Thanksgiving stuff up. Okay. All right, where is this? Take this, push this under. Make sure when you tie this on that it is up here above and not at the bottom of the zipper where you tighten it. Alright. Otherwise, when you go to tighten this down, it can jam up your zip tie. And you don't want to do that. Alright. So not underneath where you tighten it. Sure, this is where you want it. did three though. I think if I did the four big ones it would have been too much because this is going at the bottom of the reef. So if I did the full circle it would have been it really would have been too much. And don't you know I'm gonna put a ladybug on this right? <laughs> I know it. Just the small ones, just curling up. The long ones, I'm leaving there. 
You can tails end it if you want. Alright, let's see what kind of ladybug I want to put on it. Or if I'm going to put a heart. going. I have ideas. Where did I put those little ladybugs? There you go. A heart and a ladybug. Oh yeah. Carmen's got this. Let me get the bigger ladybugs though. Yes. There we go. So cute. Ridgeback that we rescued when Katrina hit. We had a whole bunch of dogs that we rescued. And they were all abandoned and um, we kept him. He lived 10 years. He had heartworms. We paid for him to get the treatment and he lived a, he a happy, wonderful 10 years. And then his heart. You know, their heart's never the same after they get that. We cried. <laughs> we just... He passed away in his sleep. His heart stopped. And, uh... His dad told me it was, you know, he, Because he was, you know, they left him. And we found him. And he was out there for... Who knows how long. And um, we went to go get him the shots and everything. And he tested positive for heartworms. So we got him fixed. And I named him Love Bug. And we called him Bugs. Because he used to eat the Love Bugs. <laughs> he did. We get Love Bugs here really bad <laughs> in the summer. 
but that's what he did. He ate the love bugs. They annoyed him. He was constantly eating at the bugs. So I called them bugs. Love bugs. And the kids called them bugs. Yep. He was our baby. It was a sad day when we lost him. Then started our journey with our Dotsies. Yeah, it was a sad, sad day when we lost him. Rhodesian Ridgebacks are beautiful. They are big, beautiful, wonderful, big, big, big lap dogs. Yes, he was a lap dog. He thought he was just a 10 pound dog. He was a big dog. And he was gentle and sweet and kind and lovable. And that is one of my favorite breeds. They're beautiful. They're so loving. He's such a good dog. It was our family. Anyways, here I go. Here is your beautiful, greedy, amazing love bug reef. Isn't it cute? It's so cute. We have ribbon. It's a two heart it's a heart frame onto a 14 inch frame and you can actually see the heart because I can see the shape of it. That's black and red mesh for the heart and then we added 12 bunches of 14 inch cut ribbons going all the way through it and we made a cute little bow at the very bottom to show you and put a little love bug on it heart in the bug and you'll be able to see it once I hang it up and do a video for you added some floral I put a ladybug here I put ladybugs going through it and it is absolutely gorgeous Hi Angel Eyes! Hi Janet! Nightwind! Alrighty! And we are done! That was a long one! Hey, this was a big reef! And we started at 7 and it's not... Actually, it's not bad at all. It's 2 hours. We did good. We did really good. Alright. So you have a little bit of everything. Hi Janet, I miss you. Hi Renee, hi Sandra. Good night Renee, I love you. Aww, hi Vicki. Night Judy. I love you. Alrighty. night Cindy I love you guys all right let's have a quick prayer and then we will thank you thank you sweetheart hi velvet Trina hi sweetheart thank you hi everybody isn't this beautiful it is very beautiful See it? You can do this in any color, by the way. And also, so you do know, weddings are around the corner. Um, you know the Valentine's I did with the streaming, the heart, the simple one? That's actually in a wedding, in their wedding hall. And I did use the heart frame, and it was only like six pieces. And we made a heart, and then I lined it with ribbon, and then put the bow at the bottom. Uh, we have a Valentine's Day wedding that I made the bouquets for and she actually got the um, wreath and I get it was a gift from me and um, they're taking their wedding pictures next to it because they're getting married on Valentine's Day so really cute you can do this in any color you can do the heart shape in the center you can do any shape you can take a little one and put it in the center it's really easy and it's fun. It's a lot of fun. Thank you. Well, I love you guys so much. Thank you. 
This is 12 bunches of ribbon, everyone. And that's three ribbons, all cut of 14 inches. All right. Let's say our prayers. I love you all so much. I hope everybody is having a wonderful night. We did really good in two hours. That's two reefs in one. We did the heart one on top of the 14 inch. It's two frames. Heart and the, four, the Dollar Tree heart on top of the 14 inch Dollar Tree frame. Two in one. Thank you. So let's say our prayers and I love you all so much. I'll be back on Thursday and I'll surprise you with something to make really fun and exciting on Thursday. I hope everyone has a wonderful night. Again, let's keep um, let's keep this nation in our prayers. That virus um, has hit the U.S. Um, so, and I want to pray for all the all for the whole nation. Um, this is major. Let's pray for everybody. All right. Let's pray for all. Let's pray that they find a vaccination, a cure, before we lose too many people. And let's pray for strength and comfort, healing. Um, anyone with an autoimmune, you know, this is scary. I'm type 1 diabetic on insulin. This is scary for me. My grandson is Down syndrome and has Hashimoto's disease. It's just a scary thing for you to think about. And there's no, you know, there's no cure right now um let's pray for that let's pray for all of our service men and service women let's just pray for the needs of all um and pray for blessings good health for wisdom for um god to wrap his arms around each and every one of you to give you his armor of protection as you go throughout the night and throughout the day tomorrow throughout the week and you're going to work, you're driving, let's just pray for God's armor protection around each and every one of you to keep you safe. Let's give this time to God. I love you all so much. Aw, Velvet, you're so cute. I love that name, sweetheart. Um, I have some, I have a prayer group on, uh, it's called Carmen. Catherine's Prayer Brothers and Sisters on Facebook, and then I have a couple craft groups on there, too. Um, let's bow our heads and let's pray for the needs of all. And remember, everybody, um, I will be on every Saturday for prayer time. Remember that God loves us all the same. All our problems are the same to God. Not one is more than the other. God doesn't look at it that way. We are all His children. We are equally loved. And um, our souls all go to heaven and we are all the same. We are loved. God's pure, unconditional love is beautiful. It's just absolutely beautiful. So let's bow our heads and pray. I love you all. Father God, I just want to thank you, Father God, for working through my hands to make another beautiful piece. Father God, I ask you to touch each and every one of my brothers and sisters, from the top of their heads to the tip of their toes. I pray, Father, for your armor of protection around each of my brothers and sisters. Keep them safe. Keep them healthy. Keep their bodies healthy and strong nourish them father father god for all that is sick across this world with this virus i pray that you give them nourishment to their body you give them strength to get through this i pray father for a cure give them strength give them nourishment to their bodies give them health you are our healer and all things are possible through you, Father God. Your people are ill and just touch each and every one. Father God, I pray for financial blessings for those that are struggling. I pray for jobs for those that are looking for a job. I pray for apartments 
affordable housing for those looking for a place to live. I pray for direction in their life, answers they seek. So many have answers. They need answers, Father. They need to know what to do. And if it's you, if this is the right decision in their life, if this is what you want, because we are walking a journey, a road for you, Father. Answers they seek direction in their life. Help. Father God, touch them from the top of their heads to the tip of their toes. Anoint their bodies. I pray for all that is going through chemo and radiation, Father, that you work through the medicine. You aim it to that cancer and disintegrate it. I pray that you give them strength to get through it as you become nauseous and sick from treatment. Your body is weak. I pray for strength, nourishment, comfort, pain relief. I pray for all that is mourning their mother, their father, their brother, their sister, their spouse, their partner, whoever it is that they lost, their child, so many. Grief can put you in such a state of sadness that weeks can become years because you are grieving, you are hurting. Father God, touch them, fill them with your Holy Spirit. I pray for peace and comfort. I pray that you give them images of their children, their spouses, the ones they love, their mother, their father, their brother, their sister, their best friend. Fill them with memories as they're sleeping that will make them laugh that they shared with their special person. I pray for all of our servicemen and service women, your armor of protection around them, Father. Give them strength. Give them wisdom. Comfort. And for all their families, comfort and strength. I pray for all of our first responders. And that is our nurses, our doctors, our firefighters, our police officers, our medics. They are there to save our lives. Your armor protection over all. Give them strength to get through the day. Those that need surgery, Father God, work through the surgeon's hands that it is a successful surgery. comfort, strength, pain relief, and healing for all those having surgery. We thank you, Father God, for all that you are going to do and all that you have already done. We give you the glory, the praise. We love you. You are our Father, our Maker, our Creator, our Lord. And we believe in the Son, Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not pass, but have everlasting life perish. Have everlasting life. John 3.16 Our promise. The Son of God, our Savior. Thank you, Jesus, for being our Savior. Thank you for all you have done for us and all that is going to happen because of you. We love you so much. I claim the name of Jesus over all my brothers and sisters. Healing, strength, financial blessings, all their needs in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God. We love you so much. Thank you, Jesus, for being our Savior. Thank you for all you have done for us. Thank you. We know your name has power. The name of Jesus, and we claim it. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. 
love you. Thank you, Father God. Touch and bless all my brothers and sisters in all areas of their life. Heal them. Bless them financially. Give them strength to get through each and every day. Fill them with love so they're not sad anymore. Surround them with your armor of protection. In the name of Jesus, we pray. We love you so much. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I will see everybody on Thursday. We're probably... I'm trying to think of what I want to do next. I'll surprise you. I have a lot of things that I want to do. A lot of fun stuff to make. I hope you enjoyed this. This was two reefs in one. And look. Ribbon and bow. Two reefs. Heart and a round one. Plus decor. The ladybugs are so cute and bright. Well, I love you guys. Everyone, be safe. Remember, what do I always say? Be kind. We don't know what anybody's going through. Every day, somebody gets diagnosed with a disease. Cancer. There's so many diseases out there. Every single day, every day, someone loses someone they love. Their best friend friend, their parent, their child. We don't know what anyone's going through. We are not to judge. We are to love. We are commanded to love by God. And we don't know someone's journey and their hurt. But you can make a difference just by a kind gesture. A smile, a nod, a wave. Have a good day. Kind gesture. If each one of us was kind, we would have a whole different world here. We're supposed to love one another, not hurt one another. And your tongue can be sharp. And the words that come out of our mouth can really hurt someone and uh, we don't know what anyone's going through we don't know you can make a permanent change you can make someone's day from a sad day to a happy day by being kind I love you be kind everybody God bless I'll see you all on Thursday have a wonderful beautiful night be careful. Make sure to wash your hands. We don't know what's going on. We do know that there is a nasty bug out there. And I love you all. God bless you all. Bye-bye.